First at nine, hundreds of people gathered today to honor the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with a parade in downtown Tulsa. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jonathan Cooper. And I'm Tatum Gwynn. The Grand Marshal of the parade was a man who organizers say selflessly served his community for decades. News on 6's Jordan Tidwell is live with more. Tatum and Jonathan, Dwayne Majette died last year, but organizers say he would be humbled by being named Grand Marshal of the parade and picking him for the job was a no-brainer. The Martin Luther King Jr. Parade went through downtown Tulsa today with the memory of Tulsa and Dwayne Majette leading the way. And he was chosen because of his passion and commitment to his community, to North Tulsa. Parade organizer Rebecca Marks Jimerson says picking the Grand Marshal is a community effort. The board picks the finalist and then leaders in the community decide from there. She says Dwayne gave selflessly to Tulsa and picking him was an easy choice. He uh, thought to himself and he often shared with us that I want to make a difference. Dwayne worked for the city of Tulsa for nearly 40 years and passed away last year. Rebecca says he supported the Greenwood Cultural Center and worked to grow North Tulsa. She says he would be humbled by the honor of being Grand Marshal. He would not want all the attention because he was one that he did not like to draw attention to himself. He loved to draw attention to the issues and the concerns. He was a neighborhood man. Rebecca says the parade and Martin Luther King Jr. Day are about keeping the dream of the civil rights leader alive. And that's exactly what Dwayne did for his community. Because he would always say, a dream without action gets us nowhere. Rebecca says they will now immediately start prepping and planning for next year's parade. Live in Tulsa, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.